Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna be doing a different video. This is not just a recipe video. We are doing what I eat in a day, dairy free. So just recently I have started um, trying to eliminate dairy, gluten, um, because even if you're keto, you, eating keto or low carb, you can be eating a lot of dairy and a lot of gluten, which is actually allowed, but some of us might be a little bit intolerant, you might get bloated, gassy. That's actually your body telling you that you do have some type of sensitivity to something. Um, it's kind of like a warning signal type deal. And so I started experiencing a lot of that, like a lot of bloating, a lot of discomfort. And so I was like, you know what? Let's give this a try. I've been doing it and I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about how I've been feeling, what I've been doing and my results, because there are some results. <laughs> Let's get started guys. Okay, so you guys obviously know that I'm doing dairy free right now. So my coffee, that was probably one of the biggest things for me is because I love creamy coffee and usually heavy cream is what gives me that creaminess. Um, so this is what I'm using now. Um, this is my second bag now. Uh, this is made with coconut cream. So it's an unsweetened creamer. They have so many other flavors, but this is the one that's like, has absolutely no sugar whatsoever. So I actually just do um, two like heaping spoons cause we want that creaminess, you know? And um, yeah, if you guys don't know about Lair's Superfoods, they, they have like creamers and like matcha and chai. They have so many different products super, super clean. Like their ingredients are super clean. They're gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO, of course, dairy-free. Why, you know, and um, keto-friendly. So if you're not keto, you're not low carb, they have one that does have coconut sugar, but this one doesn't. So I'm gonna add my own sweetener, my own sweetener. But yeah, it has all four. Let me just kind of bring you close so that you can see the nutritional facts. This is just naturally delicious. It has all four MCTs. So this is like fuel for your brain. It has the C8, C10, C12, no artificial flavors, no refrigeration needed, and it's uh, just super clean plant-based so, um, fuel. If you wanna look at the ingredients, it's like so clean. So I have really started getting into like cleaner foods just because I was having like gut issues. Anyway, this is an amazing creamer. Like I said, this is already my second bag and um, you can get like a little frother there on the on their website and then look at how easily it just kind of mixes in. Nice and creamy. And of course, like if you want it super creamy, you can just add one more. The mouth feel of this creamer is creaminess. So I don't have to add anything else to it. Um, I just like the flavor of cinnamon. So I do a little bit of cinnamon and then some sweetener. What I'm doing right now is just some stevia, like organic stevia drops because um, the sugar alcohols were really kind of like messing with my stomach and causing major bloating. Um, so I'm just kind of like trying to eliminate things here and there. And I will share with you like the things that have helped me. This doesn't cause any discomfort whatsoever. And um, so I'm super happy with it. And I'll show you other things that I buy from them that are really, really good. Um, but I'll see if I have to go to my pantry to check them out. But anyway, here's my coffee. We're gonna do this. And then um, we are. I have to get a little bit of work done and I will show you what we're having. It's gonna be a dairy-free lunch. That's gonna be so delicious, so stay tuned. Oh, and I forgot to mention, um, for those of you that are interested in a creamy dairy-free milk creamer, I'm gonna link it in the description below for you guys to check it out. So it's about one o'clock and we're gonna get started with lunch. So what I'm doing here is, I'm gonna be using these um, cabbage wraps. So I just got a, a, you know, just a head of cabbage and I started peeling it. So these are going to be our little wraps. I've already um, washed them. And we are making, we're making Asian cabbage wraps. So of course they're gonna be dairy free. And um, I'm gonna show you just how simple and delicious these are. So let's get started. All right guys, so we're gonna start off with a little um, avocado oil. Okay, so we put some oil in there. Our pan should be pretty hot. And now let's get our, we have one pound of ground beef. You can use ground whatever, chicken, turkey, like whatever you want. So we're just gonna cook this until it's nice and brown and pretty much cooked all the way through. Okay, so then we have a quarter cup of onion and we're just going to put that in the middle. 
And then we have a quarter cup of carrots that we're gonna add in, and we're just adding that in there as well. Yeah, we just want the onions to cook and become semi-translucent. Okay, beautiful. Look at that. Looks yummy. So if you have soy sauce, then you can use soy sauce. I have coconut amino, that's what we're using. And we're gonna do, no, dose, okay. Okay, so now we have some rice vinegar and we're doing one tablespoon. And I have just some minced garlic. You can use um, fresh garlic. And we're gonna do just like about a half tablespoon or three garlic cloves if you have um, fresh garlic. Just a little teaspoon of uh, some sesame oil. Throw that in. We're just doing a half teaspoon of ginger, a powdered ginger or ground ginger. Okay, and we're gonna do a teaspoon of sweetener. So I have some green onion and cilantro and I'm gonna do half in here and then we're gonna save half to garnish our, our wraps. Okay guys, so now we're back from the stove. Let's go ahead and get started with our little wraps. Um, so this is gonna be like very light, fresh, like it's not gonna be heavy. Um, obviously these are our cabbage wraps just from a, you know, from a normal head of uh, cabbage not cooked, you can cook them if you want, like steam them so they're a little softer. But um, what we're gonna do is put a little bit of mayo. And this is just for creaminess, you definitely don't need it, but um, we're just going to add a little on there. And, or you can add, what else would be good? I'm, I'm not sure what else, maybe some avocado. But anyway, we're using mayo. Then we are going to put our little scoop of our meat. meat. And you're obviously gonna put as little or as much as you want. I mean, we're not gonna be about that skin life, so we'll add more. And then we're gonna do a little bit of cilantro and green onion, just like that. Beautiful. We're gonna finish it off with a little sriracha. Boom, boom, boom. And so I'm just gonna make a few more. I'm gonna have maybe one or two, depending. I mean, I didn't put a lot of meat, so I'm thinking two. If you put like a ton of meat, then you know it's up to you, just like how you're feeling. But um, we're gonna make these really quickly, and then this will be lunch. So, so I just finished taking a little photo, and um, now it's time to have lunch. I'm probably gonna have like two of these, and then later today I'll have something that's a little heavier. Um, so let's go ahead and see how they turned out. It's like, like look at this burrito. Or even like. I have a little bit of sriracha, but if you don't like sriracha, then you don't have to. Mm. 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 So good. This is so full of flavor. If you guys like recipes like this that are light and fresh, let me know, comment down below. Um, because there are so many different versions of like lettuce wrap and um, there's uh, cabbage wraps and cucumbers and like there's just so many different um, ideas with like lighter lunches. So let me know if that's something that you guys would like, but this is so good. It's so full of flavor. You guys have to, yeah, you have to try this. Um, like I said, I'll probably end up doing two of these and then get more work done because we have like <laughs> a lot going on right now. And then I will bring you guys back when we're starting dinner. So. Mm. I'm not gonna. Oh. They're pretty much run out. This is my other one. Okay, so these are the Laird's Pilly Nuts. These are from the Philippines. They are super, super creamy. If you've never tried them, you guys have to try these. These are now my new favorite nut. Before I used to love the macadamia nuts and these actually take over. Okay, so these little guys are packed with magnesium. This is the package, how it comes. They're full of vitamin E. They have nine essential vitamins and minerals. Like they are like a little powerhouse, but um, yeah, they are super, super delicious. I'm gonna snack on them while we, um, while I figure out my next recipe and we are gonna get ready to cook dinner. All right guys, so it's time to make dinner. I thought about, I was thinking like, okay, what are we gonna do dairy-free, easy? So we're going with a one pan meal. We're gonna do chicken. So usually I love chicken fajitas. I usually make them stovetop, 
but of course you have to like saute the veggies and then you have to cook your chicken and then all that. So we're just gonna put it boom on a pan. So we're gonna do, um, you know, our little tray, our little baking sheet. And then we put a piece of parchment. I already chopped it up, you know, just to save some time. I did the yellow, the, these are baby ones. So I did like a big yellow pepper, a big bell pepper. These two are bell peppers, obviously. And then these are like the little minis and then just a bunch of onion and then jalapenos for the little spicy, spicy life. And then I have just a little bit of avocado oil. So we're just going to drizzle, 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 some avocado, some salt. And then we're just gonna throw in a few, a few uh, spices. So here we have just onion powder, okay. It's just so you're a little, so they have flavor, you know? I like spicy, so a little bit of chili flakes. Not too much, because then, you know, it hurts your tummy. Actually, it really doesn't. Well, not mine. And then onion salt. And then just some black pepper. Boom, 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 don't be shy. And now we are going to quickly, I actually just picked this one up from Traders and it's the little taco mix. It's super, super clean. We're just going to quickly um, season our chicken. So these here, this was a full chicken breast, a big chicken breast, and we butterflied it. So, you know, they're thinner, you basically get more. So this is actually only one and a half chicken breast, just FYI. But okay, let's go ahead and get this in the oven because we hungry. I'm gonna spray. Put our chicken. Okay, so we're just gonna do a little toss. So it looks um, kind of like mixed. Okay, now just let's throw our veggies in here. We'll try to fix them right now, but. All right, so we have a little bit of a mess going on, but we are ready. This is what our little one pan meal looks like. This is a one pan chicken fajita meal. It's going in the oven and it's at 375. Boom, we'll check it in 30 minutes. Whoa. Look at that beauty. So we're going to try our little fajitas. Oh gosh. This is just a taste test, but we're gonna sit down and eat in a little bit. Mmm. Mmm. You know what? You can make tacos with this. Tacos. Mm-hmm. But anyway, this is dinner, super, super simple, dairy-free. You know what I've noticed since going dairy-free is that you can make a lot of things taste creamy with obviously without adding the dairy. Because for me, typically when I have tacos and I know it's probably weird, I always have cheese and sour cream, always. Because I like the sour cream and the salsa mixed together. But you know um, what I've been subbing um, the sour cream for now is mayo. So I do a little bit of mayo, healthy. You know, I'm all reading into these ingredients now, which is sometimes driving me crazy. I feel like I am making my body even more sensitive. Let me know if that, if you've noticed that, like the more careful you are with ingredients, do you notice like your body gets more sensitive to things? Um, because I feel like I'm kind of going through that right now and it's making me sad. But, um, but obviously we have a ton of delicious food that we can eat. And so right now this is just like an experiment. It's not like I'm forever not gonna eat dairy but um, I feel really great. I feel like I've had um, really good results with like getting rid of just extra like water weight, bloat, um, just like stomach issues. Let me know if you guys want me to make a whole video on the things that I've noticed since going dairy free, but just really quickly, I don't get cold anymore. So my fingers used to be frozen and my feet used to be like super cold. Everyone was walking around like in tank tops and I'm like in my big old robe, sweatpants, socks, um, and itchy there's yeah there's uh, there's a few things so let me know and i'll make a really quick video on the steps that i took how i started eliminating it what i noticed from day one until today which is almost what two weeks in two three weeks in um and i have my photos so i can kind of put them together so let me know comment down below if you guys want to see that and i'm more than happy to share but yeah this is dinner i hope you guys really enjoyed this video um this is basically how I'm living my life right now. I start off with my little celery juice, my dairy-free coffee, which is I'm super obsessed with. You know that if I travel, I'm taking my creamer with me because 
I don't want to deal with stomach issues. And um, so that's what I'm doing right now. I try to keep, you know, my lunch, my dinner, and then my little snack and make sure that everything's dairy free. I hope you guys enjoy it. Enjoyed this video, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Are you dairy free? Are you gluten free? Do you have any type of intolerances um, to, to foods? And what have you noticed since you cut it out? Because right now I'm going through that process and any tips, I'm like doing a ton of research. So any tips are super helpful. Guys, I love you so much. I will see you on my next video. Mwah.